Uh, I'm Sinclair Black. I'm an architect in uh, Austin, Texas. I teach at the university and I have a practice specializing in architecture and urban design. Yeah. Uh, and you're uh, uh, the, one of the most recent Athena Award uh, winners here for the. Uh, right. Uh, tell us a little, a little about, a little bit about that, about what that, 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 that award signifies for you. Well, I, obviously, I'm very honored to have received the award. Uh, I never expected to, uh, but I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> so, it was a surprise when they told me a month or two back I had actually nominated two other people for. Athena Awards. Then I discovered that you have to be alive to get the Athena Awards, so they gave it to me, and then the two people I nominated weren't alive, so they just honored them. <laughs> uh, tell us a little of your thoughts about this kind of uh, intersection of, of events, uh, the CNU coming to Austin. You've been working in this era uh, uh, for an long, awful long time, working in this, this, this sort of territory. Um, Tell us what about your what, what you feel about the, this particular time in uh, in, dis, in planning and design and new urbanism? Well, I think new urbanism is a very powerful force that's changing the world and pretty rapidly. These are a group of people uh, that I guess are, are described as take no prisoners. They have ideas, they debate things, they come out with publications, they have these conferences. It's extremely active. Uh, organization based on ideas. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, pretty much the right ideas. Uh, from an Austin point of view, we've been busy here for the last 30, 40 years trying to build a, turn a small city into a real city, or a big town into a small city, maybe. Uh, we don't have any pretenses like the name of this, the booming metropolis. I, I was opposed to that <laughs> because I don't think uh, I don't think it applies. I don't think we're a metropolis, and I don't want to be booming. I think um, I think we've got a pretty good. We've we've managed in our own sort of backwater way to create a pretty good city. Of course, we had a lot to work with: the climate, the topography, the university, uh, and somehow through it all, a pretty strong economy even now. And so, about the most presumptuous thing I would say is that Austin is poised to, to create a paradigm for similar cities. Not big ones, and not little ones, but everybody in between. What you can't learn from Portland, which is very little, but you can not learn from Portland. You might learn from Austin, but I think those two cities are gonna, especially Portland, followed by Austin, are gonna point the way for all mid-sized cities, and I'm just happy to be a part of that. It's not, it's not something that we set out to do, it's just that we've been busy creating a pretty good city here. For a long time. <laughs> what do you think some of the challenges are for realizing that hope? All the same challenges everywhere, conventional wisdom, bureaucracy, politics, you know, uh, fractured ownership of property, uh, basic greed, basic, uh, what should I say, fear of progress. You know, we, everybody knows the term NIMBY, we made up one here in town, I think I actually made it up a few years ago, uh, called Caves. It's citizens against virtually everything. And we have a lot of caves in Austin. <laughs> so it, all those things are difficult. It's hard, to, it's hard to visualize it. It's not hard to visualize a better future. It's hard to uh, give it power steering, you know, and there's so many people trying to get in the way.